On this series of Wildlife Extinct, we are going to talk about animals that are no longer alive on this planet today. We will talk about everything from the mighty dinosaurs to some animals that are more modern and some you may not even know existed. So I hope you guys enjoy this series of Wildlife Extinct. Enjoy. Today's animal is the thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian tiger. The thylacine was the largest carnivorous marsupial of Australia. The thylacine was native to Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea. The closest living relative to the thylacine is either the Tasmanian devil or the Noombat. The thylacine was one of the only two marsupials to have a pouch in both sexes. The only other animal known to do this is the water possum. The thylacine had become extremely rare or extinct on the Australian mainland before British settlement of the continent, but it survived on the island of Tasmania along with several other endemic species, including the Tasmanian devil. Farmers would put out bounties on the heads of thylacines and give out money for whoever brought in a dead one. This really hurt the population overall and helped towards their extinction. The thylacine was able to open its jaws up to 80 degrees, which is very unusual for an animal. They had a row of 46 teeth. The average lifespan of the thylacine was from around 5 to 7 years of age. The Tasmanian tiger was not very good at smelling. It had a very weak sense of smell, but to make up for that it had good vision and great hearing. The Tasmanian tiger is one of the few species that scientists are working hard to try to bring back from extinction. With advancements in DNA research, some scientists believe it may be possible to bring the Tasmanian tiger back from extinction. Samples have been preserved over the years of other thylacines and they now have the complete genome of the thylacine. Scientists say that the return of the thylacine will not be happening anytime soon. Even though they have the complete genome, they will still need a marsupial animal model to host the thylacine genome. Genome sequencing is still relatively new. It has only been around since the 1970s. The thylacine went extinct because of us, because we overhunted them to the point of extinction. Many scientists say that they cannot be brought back, but there are a few scientists that think that they are able to bring them back. Do you think the thylacine should be brought back from extinction? Let us know in the comments what you think, if it's a good idea to bring an extinct animal back to life or we should just let them be. Unfortunately, past attempts to resurrect the thylacine have been disappointing. In 2000, an Australian biologist named Mike Archer launched a project to clone a Tasmanian tiger by getting DNA from preserved museum specimens. However, using DNA from a dead animal to create a clone requires a complete genome. And the living relatives require a surrogate mother and overcoming numerous other known and unknown obstacles. The attempt to clone the thylacine never succeeded in bringing back the animal or anything close to it. Enjoyed this. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is a very unique extinct animal. And I look forward to talking about others in future videos. And I will see you all next time.